Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson in the WNWO Weather Center with a look at your web forecast. And it was another cold, dreary Sunday out there. We have seen some sporadic snow showers as we've gone throughout the day and that trend is expected to continue as we go through the rest of our Sunday night into the early morning hours on Monday. Let's show you the setup right now across the Great Lakes. Now the bulk of the system is actually passing to our north and west. So they are seeing some light snow back towards Milwaukee and Chicago and up into portions of central Michigan. We are once again just sort of getting a glancing blow, just a few sporadic snow showers from time to time. And there's also another heavy band of snow well off to our east back towards the Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia areas. But that will not be impacting us at all as we head through the rest of tonight. Basically, we are expecting a few sporadic snow showers and there will be a chance for a couple areas to maybe see a little bit in the way of some freezing drizzle. But it is not going to be a huge winter storm system for northwest Ohio or southeast Michigan. Temperatures again well below average. We were only in the teens Sunday morning. We only climbed up into the upper 20s by the afternoon. Temperatures are going to hold pretty steady in the upper 20s and may even briefly crack 30 degrees as we go through the overnight as some slightly warmer air treks its way in. But we're not expecting any major warm up through the overnight hours. Here's a look at your forecast again. Just a couple sporadic snow showers from time to time. Do not expect any major accumulation. However, as you can see here at 1 a.m., if you look just to the east of our area, you see those pinks kind of showing up in the model run. Well, that's actually indicating some freezing drizzle across portions of north central Ohio, and I do think there's a chance for a little bit of freezing drizzle, especially for our southern counties down towards Wyandotte, Crawford and Huron counties. You may see a little bit can't even rule out maybe some here in the Toledo area, though it looks like temperatures will stay just cold enough to keep the precipitation as all snow any that we do get. And again, it is not going to be a significant amount of precipitation. It's going to be very light. But that said, there could be a couple slippery spots out there Monday morning, but shouldn't expect any widespread travel issues. And then once the sun comes up Monday morning, we are looking at a dry day the rest of the day, though it is going to remain cloudy for the most part for your Monday. So as we go through the rest of the overnight, We'll call it light snow and some freezing drizzle. It will be broken. It will not be nonstop. And really, when it comes to accumulation, really not expecting all that much. A couple places may be able to get about a half inch at the absolute most. But for most of us, accumulations will be on the minimal side. As I said, temperatures holding pretty steady in the upper 20s. It may even climb a couple degrees at some point, getting closer to 30 degrees during the overnight hours. For your Monday, we do dry out, but it stays cloudy. It's going to be a little breezy as well with sustained winds between 10 and 20 miles per hour. So while temperatures Temperatures get into the lower 30s. You factor in the winds, the wind chill will be in the upper teens and lower 20s. So it's going to be pretty cold out there. Definitely need to bundle up if you're going to be out for a prolonged period of time, especially if you're working outdoors. The sun shines back for Tuesday. Doesn't help with the temperatures. Lows in the teens, highs only in the mid 20s. Another week disturbance passes Wednesday. Could bring a couple of snow flurries to the area, but again, nothing too significant. After Monday, we basically have every day of the work week back in the 20s with overnight lows in the teens. So a very cold week is on tap. Next chance for maybe a little bit of snow appears to be next Saturday, but as has been the case, the bulk of that system will be passing to our south, so we'll just get nicked by it. So don't expect that to be a huge storm, but maybe some light accumulations are possible. We'll be keeping an eye on that system through the rest of the week. And the temperatures do rebound just a smidge getting up into the 30s. But again, if you're hoping for any major warm up anytime soon, it does not appear to be coming over the next 10 days. Let's look at your forecast. I'm meteorologist Joe Thompson. Thanks for logging on to northwestohio.com.